Pickwick Juniors winning the toss and opting to bat against Empire Juniors. That's opener Justin Paris cashing in on a short delivery from Charles Wood. Goes all the way. Minor setback for Pickwick in the same over from Wood. Lucas Archer stumped by wicketkeeper Kalani Clark. Sharp, sir. Archer has to go without troubling the score. 16 for 1. A lot will rest on the shoulders of Paris. Eases this one through. The offside, the fielder on the boundary. Could have done better. Four more to the tally. Ashir Brandeford is the new batter. Full toss. Welcome sight. Speeds away into the square leg boundary. These two built up a handy 48 run partnership. If you miss your length, pay the price. The scoreboard taking over Paris. Comfortable. Empire Juniors use nine bowlers as they try to limit their opponent's scoring. Tough task, if you ask me. That's another four. Breakthrough needed. Antonio Lane into the attack. Branford gets one that keeps low. Bowled off, stump for 16, 64 for two. The show must go on. And the headline act, Paris, would make a statement reaching his half century, picking up a couple here. Well played to the skipper, leading by example. But I'm sure he would be annoyed by this call for a quick single that cost him his wicket. Run up by Wood for 51, seven fours and one six in his innings. 77 for three at this stage. Empire happy to see him go. But Pickwick rebuilt via Shea Thorne and Tyshawn Franklin, who put on a fourth wicket partnership worth 31 runs before a Zari Small ball thorn for 12. Missed the full toss, to be honest. 108 for four. Three balls later, pandemonium in the Pickwick camp. Yes, no, get back. Franklin went up for 14 in the end. 108 for five in over number 15. Dario Rice added one run before he was cleaned up by Kyron Gittins. 111 for six now. Jerome Ford was in next and he picked the gap through a packed offside field with precision. Ford led the way in a seventh wicket partnership worth 37 runs with Davon Reese. That's his third boundary. Wood back into the attack. Reese nibbles at one, snapped up by Clark. Umpire's finger goes up, departs for three, 148 for seven. Four then paired with John Ross Giddens to add 28 runs before he went for 21 to make it 176 for eight. Pickwick Juniors eventually 177 all out in 30.3 overs.